Hi, I'm Edward Lowe with Motor Trend, and we're here at California Speedway with the Aerial Atom. Uh, as you may know, this legendary track car is imported from England and is a track day screamer. Uh, we're here to put it through its paces, so hey, let's go for a ride. As you can see, one of the most interesting things about the Atom is that all of its inner workings are exposed. Things like the suspension, the brake cylinders, even the pedals you can see from the outside. And on this end you can see the upper and lower A-arms and the steering rack. On the passenger side, there's further evidence this is a purpose-built track day car. As you can see, there's an emergency power shutoff and a switch for the fire suppression system. On the driver's side, there's another switch for the fire suppression system which activates the extinguisher that's under the dash. Acceleration in this car is phenomenal. You have to be careful at launch because if you're not, you can spin out very easily. The car likes to walk sideways. In fact, for top speed runs for a quarter mile, uh, they recommend starting in second gear um, just because there's too much wheel spin in first. Well, let's check it out. It should be, the car only weighs 1,400 pounds and has a 300 horsepower supercharged Ecotec engine. It's the same engine you find in the Chevy Cobalt supercharged and the Saturn Ion Redline. There are very few cars in the world that handle as well as the Aerial Atom. That's partially because of how stiff and how light it is. I'm sitting in a carbon fiber tub surrounded by a lattice work of tubular steel. The suspension is equally its trick. They're Coney two-way adjustable dampers with aftermarket H&R springs. And as for the rubber, Yokohama Advan AO48s. Very, very sticky and great for high-speed driving. Well, if you take it out on a race course, you have excellent visibility through the bodywork. You're able to position the car anywhere you want on the racetrack. Just look through and see where you're putting your wheels. It's as easy as that. And just driving, you have a non-assisted rack and pinion steering system, a great five-speed gearbox, and the pedals are probably the best part of this vehicle. They're perfectly spaced for any kind of high-performance driving technique you want to use, whether it's left foot braking or heel towing. The brakes on this car are equally amazing. This brakes all around with four-piston Alcon calipers. With a car that's this lightweight, that literally means you can stop on a dime. So obviously this thing is perfect for the track. It's got a lot of power, it's got great handling, but where we're going next might be a different story.